Auntie Colleen. And I'm Ringo Starr. And we're here at Amoeba Records in Los Angeles. And I'm going to show you some of my most memorable musical moments. What are you going to show us, Ringo Starr? Bright eyes. I'm wide awake, it's morning. Why? Because it's pretty much the greatest record of all time. First day of my life, I think, is like maybe my wedding song. The Beatles, Yellow Submarine, so good. All you need is love. This is the first CD compact disc I ever owned face to face and my favorite song was Disconnected and I had I think my first makeout session in a car while this was playing. Here's something you should know about me. In what grade was I in? Eighth grade everyone at dancing did pretty lyrical solos at competition to like beautiful songs by Jewel or like Shania Twain or like really nice pretty songs and I choose to do my lyrical solo to Doll Parts by Hole and what I had black makeup smeared down my face and like a little doll dress on and I came out and just scared everyone. Fall Out Boy reminds me of living in New York City because I would pump Cork Tree, take this to your grave, incessantly on my very first iPod. And all of these songs remind me of just being on the subway in New York and on my way to auditions and around the city and like knowing, you know how like every Fall Out Boy story just has like one awesome one-liner that you could just like write down and live your life by? I feel like there was a one-liner for every situation I ever lived in New York. One time, got to be in a gym class here as a music video, and they were like, yeah, come on, we're gonna have like dancers in the music video. I was like working with Alan Ferguson at the time, and he was like, come to Vegas, do like dancing in the music video. And then by dancing, he meant run down the hallway in your underwear. Yeah, and there's this a nice big close-up of me just shaking my hair, running down the hallway. I will never live that down. I think people, I think people equate running down the hall in your underwear with being a promiscuous person, which I'm not. My next favorite CD of all time is by a band called Lemon Sun, because my Swoonster, that's my Swoonster's old band. So here's their records. They, look at them, they're in a special box because they're priceless. Duh. And the best song ever on Lemon Sun is called I Wanna Have You. Ooh, I wanna have you. I wanna have you too, Swoon. He wrote that for me, even though I met him 10 years later. Once upon a time, I stalked Matt Nathanson on Twitter long enough for us to become friends. And then, and then like last year, I think we broke up our friendships, so now we're not friends anymore. But um, it doesn't stop me from listening to his music 24-7. Actually, I was listening to his CD, Modern Love, on the way over. It's one of the greatest CDs ever made of all time. We've never met in real life, but I know that if we did, we'd probably hug. Um, I met my Nathanson through the song called, on this record, um, called Bulletproof Weeks. I was teaching a dance class and I found it and I loved it and I used it and then I sent him the video and that's how we began talking. Here's a cute picture of Matt Nathanson. I don't know if you know this, Matt Nathanson has a nose ring. Okay, Buzznet, that is the end of my musical adventure. Thanks for joining me and I'm gonna go probably buy Matt Nathanson record right now. Bye!